Hi guys, um, today's video is going to just be a fun little grungy goth look. <laughs> um, so I apologize for the lighting, um, my ring light broke, I can't replace it right now. Um, and the camera is different because I, I'm trying something out to see if I go out of the shot less when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so, um, I already did, um, I moisturized, um, primed, put my foundation on, did a little concealer under the eyes, and now I'm going in with bronze slash contour. This is just my Cinegents Make Sense CCTM in the shade Deep. Okay. Okay, so I had to get a brush real quick. Okay, so I'm just doing my contour slash bronze. Um, I'm almost to my goal of being under 200 and I will update when I actually reach that goal. But let's just say it's super close to that goal. Oh, I got that in my hair. And what this stuff does is it tries to blend in with your skin. So even though it looks you know, way too dark for my skin now. See how it just kind of blends in? I don't know what it is about the science behind it. And I have a friend who says science, I don't know, <laughs> which is very true. I don't know the science behind Cinegens, but it tries to blend in with your skin, even if it's way too dark. I mean, obviously it doesn't it can't completely blend in because it's too dark. I hope you guys can see me. I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro. I would definitely buy it again, even at full price. It's only With this blush, um, it's prim it's Elf Primer Infused Shimmer Blush in the shade Always Hazy. Just because I am going for a more gothy look, I kind of want a darker color. It's kind of like a it's like a reddish toned um, brown, like a bronzy shade. Okay, so I'm just going in with this Morphe blush brush. I'm assuming, and then I'm just gonna. Go like this and plop that on there. So have you guys been watching the Johnny Depp defamation trial? I hope he wins. I'm sorry. I I feel like she was abusive. He was talking about how she... Okay, I don't know how many of you know this. Probably a lot. But glass bottles, especially liquor bottles, don't actually break very easily at all. It's actually quite hard, you know? And she threw... A large vodka bottle at him at his hand at him and it hit his hand and it shattered the bottle you have to throw them so hard for that to actually happen you know because they're made real thick and um not only did she shatter the whole entire bottle but uh bitch severed his metal finger it, he needed surgery and after she did that she was so sweet. Like, who even is she anyway? Um, she was so sweet that she took his cigarette that was in the ashtray and put it out on his face, right? But cancel culture is trying to can has been and 
um, not just cancel culture, but like Warner Brothers and shit has been trying to cancel him out. Oh, just from what she claims, he was abusive when he, it, it's been um, recorded on tapes that she was being abusive to him. And I believe him 100%. I feel like in this day and age, had he been abusive um, to, I mean, you don't just wake up one day and say, hey, I think I'm going to start hitting women or, you know, anyone or whatever. You're usually abusive your whole entire life. And if that were the case, especially in this day and age when people feel more safe, his exes would come out saying that he was abusive. And you know they would. We've seen it time and again. And... You know, most of those, you know, and obviously they're not lying. And um, so I just, I don't see the pattern of abuse at all. I think she is a narcissist and I think cancel culture needs to cancel her out. I don't even know where she's from. I'm, I know she's an actress, but obviously not that big of an actress. I only know her because of Johnny Depp and, you know, they're life together in marriage. I'm gonna go ahead and put some up here because I kind of like the color to warm up my face a bit. And so I was watching that trial today live and just hearing him recount everything and even his life like he's been through a lot and he's an amazing person. He's always been really nice and he always will be. He goes out of his way to do anything and I noticed um, I myself suffer from this. Um, he has a bit of a stutter, and it's obviously from nerves, um, from speaking publicly in court and whatnot, and I do that occasionally, so I sympathized with him completely, um, so I don't know how you guys feel about that. How do you feel about that? I mean, I have my opinion, and it's not going to change, but I would like to hear other people's opinions. Anyway, I think the whole thing is messed up. I hope he gets his name cleared. And yeah. But anyway, okay. And I'm back. We're I don't know what happened to this clip, but that color on my eyes is a matte brown. Like and now I'm just applying a uh, matte black. Do something, so.
Okay guys, I am back. I'm gonna hit it in my eyes. It's hard to see in this lighting, but there are sparkles. And I used a silver glitter mascara over my black today. So I'm going in with purple rain, which needs to be mixed up again and metallic plum, which could be hard to work with, but I am just using it as an outline, so it should be fine. Okay, now glossy. And just to be extra extra, I'm going to go in with my diamond, sorry, diamond kiss gloss, and then we will do, uh, this has real diamond pieces in it, a little part dust, diamond dust is what I meant to say, and we'll do um, some highlight, and I will take you over by my window so you can see better, and then we'll all be done.
but I love this look. The <laughs> Ofra. Oh, sorry. The Ofra Cosmetics. And it's a collab with Nikki Tutorials, who you all probably know from YouTube. Just a big YouTuber. I only aspire to be as cool as that. <laughs> See that? Beautiful. I don't know why I keep talking like my lips are still wet. <laughs> I think that's a lip scent. It's habit. And then I'm gonna go into my finger. Put some up here, because I like to have it up here. And then so Nose. And then down this way. Down this way. And I'm also going to go ahead and use some glaze donate for around my lips because it'll look better. Oops, if I can open it. <laughs> okay. So, please donate. Brush off this. This is the glaze donate. And then, of course, because it's a powder, I do wish it was a liquid. I'm going to go in with my dewy setting spray. And it'll melt in. You see how pretty it is though? Like, yes. So we just go like this with a sponge. And we go like this over the highlight. Basically all over the face if you want to. Oh, I really need new brushes. The model ones I got I don't like. I feel like they're cheaply made in a bad way. Oh, this is the Milani Make It Last Dewy. Love this stuff. But I need new ones because I keep getting brush bristles on my face and it's annoying. I got some black down here. Let's wash that off a little bit. Okay, and you see how that melted in? It's much more beautiful. Okay, so that is all. I'm going to walk over to, and then of course you could spray more if you wanted to. Um, I just didn't, but I already sprayed earlier off camera. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Wild. Sorry. I don't know if you can see me. I can't see me, but the sun is on my light. But you see my pretty makeup all that shine so i'm calling this a goth glam look and it's been fun hanging out with you as always until next time which will be later today <laughs> in a few minutes um anyway until next time peace guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe it really helps my channel